Hi, welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to disable message blocking on iPhone. And it's literally an easy process, so make sure to watch until the end of the video to know how it's done. If you are experiencing message blocking on your iPhone, it may be due to various reasons, such as carrier settings, message filtering, or software issues. Here are some steps you can take to troubleshoot and potentially disable message blocking. First tip, ensure that your iPhone has the correct carrier settings. To do this, go to settings, general, about. If a carrier settings update is available, you'll be prompted to install it. Another tip, check if your iPhone is in do not disturb mode. Open the control center by swiping down and look for the crescent moon icon. If it's enabled, tap on it to disable. Do not disturb. Another tip, a simple shutdown and starting can resolve various issues. Shut down your iPhone by powering it off and then back on. Another tip, some iPhones have message filtering options that can block messages from unknown senders or spam. To do this, go to settings, messages, and check if the filter unknown senders option is enabled. Disable it if needed. Another tip, Ensure you haven't accidentally blocked the sender. To do this, go to settings, messages, block contacts, and check if the contact is listed. If so, unblock the contact. Another tip, if the issue persists, it could be related to carrier specific settings. Contact your carrier's customer support and inquire about any message blocking features or restrictions on your account. Under the tip, ensure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. To update your phone, go to Settings, General, Software Update, and install any available updates. Another tip, if none of the above steps work, you can try resetting network settings. This will reset Wi-Fi passwords and other network related settings. To do this, go to settings, general, transfer or reset. Just follow the prompt, then tap reset network settings. Final tip, if the issue persists, consider reaching out to Apple support for further assistance. They can't provide you personalized support based on your device and account information. Take note, before performing significant actions like resetting network settings, it's advisable to back up your important data. And that's all for now folks, hope you like and subscribe, thank you.